No, Jacoby. It's me again, Jacoby on the ones and twos, and I got my parents here. Me and my daddy gonna fight, but it's okay. I have my lovely mother, Beverly. Hello. And my father, Frederick. <laughs> it's supposed to be fun. <laughs> yeah. And we're just gonna do a little parent tag. I was gonna do my mom. But my daddy was being a little spish, so we're just gonna do both of them together. You are special. So I have ten questions I'm gonna ask him. This is impromptu. It, it, what you looking at me like that for? I did text you. See, okay. So some of these is gonna be about my childhood, and we're gonna go. So number one, what was I like as a child? I can't stand you. I remember I think one one, one uh, particular things I remember you didn't like to wear lacy dresses and I like to dress you in lacy dresses and socks with lace but there was a time at church where you were on the screen door and you tore a little $80 dress and I said okay that'll be the last time I dress you in lace I still don't like lace like that I know father would you like to comment I don't have anything. I don't, I really don't remember. I really don't. Maybe maybe that you were clingy to me. That's about it. I don't remember anything special. And whose fault was that? That I was clingy. I don't know. Probably somebody, some of your great ancestors, I guess. <laughs> Number two. What do you think about me doing YouTube videos? Start with that. It bothered me because, uh, like I said, you know, I'm not on YouTube and I'm not on those other things. So well, you are now. when you send it to me, I look at it and I go on about my business. I like it. It's informational because I look on YouTube for things, uh, especially when I was in transition, getting natural hair. I wanted to know what people were using, what was best. And then I just kind of did the big chop. And I already know what is best for me. I think it's, it's informational because I've never heard of Sister Locks. So, good job. Uh, I'm doing hanging band too nice. That's why my hair looks like this. I'm going to wig. Do you have any funny memories of me when I was younger? <laughs> I don't remember. I mean, you know, I'm getting older, so <laughs> I, I don't remember. Me and my daddy had this love hate relationship. I don't remember. <laughs> I told you that before we got it. I told you, I don't remember. Probably the most, the funniest thing that I can remember is when we got a dog. And our dog's name was Spike. And we were all afraid of Spike because he would just jump on us and I couldn't stand that and y'all were afraid. And one day we were outside and Spike was on a chain, but Spike got off the chain and he ran after us and ran us out of our shoes. So that was the most funniest thing. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. You say, all you said, you didn't say it about that. Well, do you have a story that you would like to share with no, the that, that's good enough, right? <laughs> Dad. I, I don't know. I, I don't remember. I really don't. If you had, if you could rename me, what would it be? Hold up. You're the boss. <laughs> I got one. Um. What? Are you talking about the? Okay, go ahead. Huh? What you about to say? No, I, I want to marry you like that. You about to say the whole tool situation? Mm hmm <laughs> Your son done already. Go ahead, tell him. No. Just I wouldn't me. rename you. Cause you no, she you, got beat down. She are, got beat you down. Are your, you are your name. I wouldn't rename you. She it. got beat He's down. He's still on the last question. Yeah, I would like, a funny she story. Got oh. beat, she got okay. beat down. Why is that funny to you? It's funny because <laughs> your mama said, Jacob, you still wet. So? And, and it, it just tickled that, that tickled You see my how head. parents do you? He laughing <laughs> at my shortcomings. That tickled my, my head. head. You do, you, do you remember that? Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't. So? Remember, child, you beat me like I started. And so. she got I beat down. Know. That 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 right there. <laughs> that right there. <laughs> That's what he cracked up about. <laughs> you got beat down. Mm, you okay. see what I have to live with? Would you? If you did, you have any other names mm -hmm. besides Jacoby for a girl? No. We just had that one name. Your name was the first name. You didn't away at the boy. That was the only name that I came up with. She came up with it. With only your brother's name. I only came up with your name. And we agreed on it. So, but no. 
That's my mama. Right, that's my mama. Mama. She loves Sam for the Sun. If you didn't hear that, he just basically said no. My daddy picked my name out. It's probably why everybody think I'm a boy now, but anyway. <laughs> um, how was I in school? You were a very good student. You liked competition that I know, especially math competitions. Because the teachers would always oh, tell me about, you know, the math. Third grade? Oh. Uh, math equations. And uh, you, would work, work, you would work real hard. You're a good student. You're a good student. I was only in them competitions because she would give us candy at the end. <laughs> so it was like, we had so many math problems. If you got them all right, you got to go to the treasure chest. Subtraction messed me up, though. I wouldn't. I had to. I didn't get my candy. I was upset. Of course, you're in the top five of the of your graduating class. The only African American. Now, what, uh, what's your question? How was I in school? Ten percent. I agree with what the mom said. As far as elementary and middle school, when you got to high school, you became a militant. How? Because you all you, you always felt like you had. That you own something, I guess, is what I'm saying. Like when your teacher says something to you, I would have to go up, over, up to the school and you get set <laughs> in your ways or whatever. I wonder where I get that from. I don't know. I guess from your mom. Because I'm hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that time we they used to print off um what class rank you were on your report card? You remember that time I was at like number nine. And then like my next report card I dropped to number eleven. Do you remember how bad you talked to me that time? Mm-hmm. He because talked. Do you remember? He talked so bad to me, y'all. <laughs> I, I expect more out of you than. I mean, my brothers. That's a whole different story. I dropped from nine to eleven, and you would have thought I killed somebody. He talked. I think about, I cried. We're talking about you. We're not talking <laughs> about your brother. I, I cried. He talked so. Needless to say, I bumped up to number seven, but still, he talked so I wonder why bad you got, to me. I wonder why you were one or two. Um, when were you most proud of me? When you went to you, you <laughs> got out of my house. <laughs> I was real proud of you. Because <laughs> I was leaving, not because I was going to school. Yeah, because you were leaving. I can't think of one single, just one single thing. Because I've well, always been proud of you. Um, especially, you know, being on your own. Cause you're a very sensible person. You got good sense. You got common sense along with your intellectual ability. So I've always been very proud of you. When you got the degree, first degree, that's that's probably the moment. But I guess the first thing is when you got your crooked toes up on me. Okay. That's when you know, who was it? Um, Last one gone. Hmm. Do you do either of you have like any favorite moments? Of like me and you, or you and I, like how we rode dogs, or the only girl, and we did something. Or does any moment come to mind where it's just like that's a good one at all? When you call me in the mornings. Yeah, he likes that. Cause you know when you don't, <laughs> there's gonna be some trouble. Let me see it. When I don't call him, he mad. When I call him, he mad. Y'all have to follow me on my Instagram to see how crazy this man is. Mm -hmm. Um, if you could describe me in three words, what would they be? <coughs> Pookie, Nicobe, uh and and Jacoby. Strong, independent. Uh, strong. Independent, confident, um, you, you said in three words. Mm -hmm. I'll say centered. Strong. Excuse me. 
sit strong with me. Last one. If you could pick your ideal person for me, like my husband, what kind of person would it be? Of course, someone who is saved. Oh, Jesus up in here. Someone who is appreciative of a, of, of a level-headed African-American woman, someone on your level, um, but somebody, some, someone who is going to love you for you and not try to change you, and someone that uh, mm, Was appreciative, care for you, someone you have fun with, like-minded. Um, someone that value, values, values you um, for your worth, and someone who's gonna treat you like I would treat you. Okay, y'all got any last remarks about me? Anything y'all want to say crazy? I love y'all. <laughs> we love you too. I love you, child. I ain't nothing y'all can do about it. I'm glad that you're home because I miss you being here. I miss all of you being here. And my Christmas present is all of my children being here. <laughs> okay, y'all, as always. We'll see y'all have a great, well, I hope you had a great Christmas holiday and a happy new year. I can't stand you. <laughs> and I hope you have a good rest of the what week. Your mama can stand me. <laughs> and I hope y'all like this video. As you can see, this one don't got the sense the guy gave him. But yeah, I just wanted y'all to see my family. It's my daddy. I hope he wasn't cut out because he ain't going to redo this again. So y'all just going to have to. No, I'm not. That'll be enough. Anyway, I'll see y'all next time. Peace out. Y'all want to say bye? Be fine in 21-9. 21-9? It's not like you said 21 and 9. So it can rhyme. Be fine in 21-9. It's 2019. 21-9. That's your girl. <laughs> wow. Bye, y'all. <laughs>